I'm Marlena Borgato, and I'm a scientist in the Combat R&D Group. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about cockroach species that we conduct testing on. First I'm going to start with the German cockroaches, also known as small roaches. Now German cockroaches are the number one pest cockroach species worldwide. And the reason being is because they live solely indoors with people. And they will live in consumers' homes, apartments, in college dorm rooms. They may be living in your favorite restaurant or grocery store. Now German roaches are actually very small, full grown, they're about a half an inch in length. And the full grown adults are present with wings. That's how you can quickly identify if you have an adult. The nymph cockroaches uh, lack wings and they are often much darker in color. Now German cockroaches reproduce and develop very quickly. The lifespan of a German cockroach is about six to eight months. Now a female German cockroach will develop and carry the egg case for about four weeks before it hatches. Now these egg cases, they're brown or tan capsules and when they hatch, 30 to 40 individual nymphs will emerge. Now those nymphs are very small and it will only take about four to six weeks for those newly emerged nymphs to fully develop into adults, which means that they're capable of reproducing themselves. Now German cockroaches live solely indoors with people. So they can be a pest year round, no matter where you live. Now the German cockroaches prefer places uh, that are warm, dark, and damp. So areas such as under the kitchen sink or under the bathroom sink are ideal. German cockroaches really only need three things to thrive and reproduce, and that is a harboring or nesting area, food, and water. So in a consumer's home, all three of those are present. With their reproduction and their quick development, they leave behind an array of debris. The accumulation of debris consists of empty egg cases, exoskeletons, fecal droppings, and dead carcasses. This debris can often cause allergies and asthma attacks. Now let's take a look at the next pest cockroach species, American cockroaches. American cockroaches, as seen here, are often referred to as large cockroaches. Now American cockroaches are often known as the outdoor roach, and that is because they live and breed outdoors. Now typically if a consumer sees a large roach in their house, it's more because the American roach is coming indoors looking for food or water. They're not necessarily coming into your home to make it their home. So American cockroaches are quite large. Full grown American cockroaches are about two and a quarter inch in length and have wings. So the American cockroaches actually reproduce and develop very slowly in comparison to the German cockroach. American cockroaches, their full lifespan is about two to three years, depending on the living conditions. Now, a female American cockroach, she will actually develop and deposit an egg case in a place that she feels is secure and safe. An American cockroach egg looks something like this. It's actually dark in color and it's a little capsule. Now this egg case, when it hatches, um, in about two to three months after the female deposits it in a location, it will hatch. And when it hatches, there will be between 12 to 14 nymphs that emerge from this single egg case. Now those nymphs, once they emerge, it'll take about six to nine months for them to fully develop into the adult life stage. So since American cockroaches are outdoor roaches and they're not living indoor in consumers' homes, there's less of an issue with American cockroach debris causing asthma and allergies. Now let's take a look at Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Here we have Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Now Madagascar hissing cockroaches are not a pest cockroach species. We do not conduct any insect testing on Madagascar hissing roaches as they are not a pest that our consumers will encounter. Now, using Madagascar hissing cockroaches for educational purposes is very easy. As you can see here, they're very easy to handle. 
They move very slowly and they're very large in size. And this makes it very easy to educate children on roaches and also insects in general. And these are the cockroach species we have here in the Combat Insect Lab.